Hello and welcome to my channel. So this is part two of my Pride Readathon mini reviews that I'm going to be doing. I'll be doing six altogether, and yeah. So essentially, I'm just going to go over what I liked about the series, what I disliked about the series, a general basis of what it's about, the themes and all that, what I found to be, you know, my overall take on it, and if it's a completed series that I read from beginning to end, then I will give a um, score at the end of the review. Just a quick shout out to the three that hosted last year's Pride Readathon, Bizarre Individual, Dynamic Dylan, and Rachel Catherine. Their YouTube channel links will be down in the description below. So part two series is Even Though We're Adults by Takako Shimura, published by Seven Seas. It's an ongoing series that has five volumes released so far. Although at the time when I read it for the readathon, there was only four volumes. Um, however, I've already purchased and read volume five, so I am up to date with it and will relate my thoughts on the series as a whole, including the latest volume. Um, so it's categorized as a drama yuri, and although it has some slight romantic undertones between the two main characters, this isn't actually a romance, and romance definitely is not the main um, explorative theme overall. So I just thought I'd mention that first and foremost, just so people don't go into this series with any sort of misconceptions and expectations of it being so. But I will delve into that a little bit further along here. So in this Yuri, the overall main exploratory theme underlining the story isn't actually the two main characters, who are Akari and Ayano, um, finding each other and falling in love, you know, as what usually occurs in Yuri, generally speaking, but more about Ayano's journey through realization and understanding of herself after reflecting upon different stages of her life and her repressed feelings throughout her life after randomly meeting a woman one night after work at a bar. So if you're looking for some fussy romance story, this story isn't it. Instead, you'll find a story exploring the consequences of compet, um, particularly cases when people are old enough to have already formed established relationships with others, who will then also be affected by proxy. And if you don't know what compet is, it stands for compulsory heterosexuality. So we have our main character, Ayano who is in her 30s and is married to her husband when she starts to come to terms with her homosexual orientation after a night with another woman who is our second main character, Akari. Um, Akari is also affected by this predicament after catching feelings for Ayano and then coming to find out about Ayano's marriage after the fact. So we also get a look into Akari's experiences in her life for having dealt with this sort of situation before with past girlfriends who were undecided upon, you know, ultimately leaving the men in their lives and decided on, you know, staying with the men in their lives. Uh, we also get to see the effects and confusion with Ayano's husband, um, Ayano's sister, uh, her mother-in-law, etc. Um, and just as a side note, Ayano is very forthright and honest about her feelings with Akari to the people in her, you know, family and in her life. So she's not like kind of going around being sneaky, you know, being weaselly. She's very, very honest and upfront with what's been going on and how she's been feeling. So even though her adult stands out from its Yuri genre in that it has more to it than just riding on some gimmick, which is unfortunately a standard theme in regards to Yuri and Yaoi that I have noticed as of late. Um, it's a slow burn if you're used to the kind of whiplash fast pacing of the more mainstream manga that's been, you know, subjected to try and hook those in with the first chapter. Um, no, this series builds upon itself and really is character-driven and focused. 
Um, of course, this is what makes it more realistic, particularly the characters, which I find myself sometimes wanting to reach into the manga and just give them a good shake as well as a tongue lashing because <laughs> of the, you know, ways they're handling the situation and why they're making the choices that are just making things worse in the long run. But this irritation um, that I feel when I'm reading isn't really from a place of criticism, but actually the opposite. Because although I'm frustrated, um, it's in fact because I'm frustrated is due to the credit of how well the characters are written. It's frustrating because you know that their behavior and actions correlate to people in real life and you know that it's gonna you know lead to a train wreck further down the road and you could just see it coming right you could see it unfolding and all you want to do is stop it in its tracks but you can't right because you're reading along right you don't have control over that and so you're just slowly forced to go along with the consequences and decisions that they make while you know face palming every few minutes so i mean all in all great immersion in regards to uh, my investment of the story actually I really only have a few criticisms thus far in the story um, from what I've read. And the first being is, well, the rapid onset of Akari's falling for Ayano feelings in just like one night. Because, I mean, it's a little ridiculous to take seriously any character, especially in the early 30s, making claims of falling for someone when they've just recently met them and met them only once. Because you can't fall in love with someone when you obviously don't know anything about them. And you really don't by meeting a person once. Um, and second criticism is mostly about the artwork. I mean, the drawings are a little plain. I mean, nothing really stands out. And it's, you know, just a little simplistic. I mean, it's not horrible, you know, or anything. It's just, it, but it's also nothing really, you know... That catches the eye it's just a bit boring <laughs> or mediocre i guess um i mean i will say that i have seen much far much worse and generic art in manga form um but yeah it, it's just kind of all around meh so to speak i guess <laughs> but again overall these sort of uh criticisms that i just mentioned i mean the are very nitpicky and absolutely do not override my enjoyment of the series. So, in conclusion, would I recommend even though we're adults? Yes, I would. At least to anyone even remotely interested in something other than a fluffy romance. If you're looking for a fluffy romance, Yuri, then mm, best skip this one. As for myself, it's nice to find a Yuri that has a central theme based around an issue such as comp head, which I haven't really seen a primary focus on, at least regarding manga. I mean, there may be some, but I just, I haven't seen much of any myself. Um, so now this series is um, ongoing, which means I obviously haven't read the whole thing in its entirety. Um, so I can't in good faith give a conclusive score that I'd be happy to give. Although I'd say that it's doing well, and if it keeps doing what it's doing, I definitely would probably score it around an 8 out of 10. I just don't want to say for certain, because you never know what might happen in future volumes. It could just all of a sudden go south. But as of right now, I am definitely, definitely enjoying this and will continue to pre-order and collect this series. <laughs>